Hello crafty friends, it's Cheryl's here. Thank you for stopping by on my channel. I am here to share you an idea how to emboss your paper without an embossing folder. This is nothing new. If you are a card maker, I believe you have done this before. And if you are not a card maker, maybe you have seen this before. Anyways, these are the cards that I made earlier, not using embossing folder. So this is one design, the diamond with a flower inside. And this is the simplest one, just lines. And I drag my ink pad across it just to color it, to show it more so you can see it more clearly. And this one, I don't know if you agree with me, I call this a foxwood. So I did this by embossing the paper and then drag a couple different color of ink pads across it. So these are very, very simple to make. If you have embossing folder, you have the die cut machine, you can still do this. If you don't have it and you want to do some embossing, this is a great idea for you because it's really simple. And all you need to use or all you need for to make this is this, a stylus pen. The one that I have here is from Pergamano, from my parchment craft kit. And if you don't have it, you can use your pen that's already run out of ink that will work. Or if you're in US and you have Dollar Tree around you, you can get this stylus from Dollar Store. The stylus from the Dollar Store has two heads. One is much bigger than my Brigamano, and the other side is a little bit smaller. This works pretty well. And to help with this embossing action, you will also need a soft surface. I have here my a foam. It is from one of the electronic that we bought. I did not throw it away because I like how sturdy and also squeezy this material. This is great for my stamping pad and it's also great for embossing with a stylus. So let's show you how you can do this simple one. Like I said, it's super, super simple and it's just a no brainer. I mean like not no brain, but something that you don't really need to think. So to make this, like you can see, it's just lines. So you will need a ruler to help you cut where you need to score and I like to use this, my Pergamano, because it's just perfect. Just do this. Just like push the, the stylus on the paper. If you use the dollar store or the stylus with very small head, don't use a lot of force because it will tear your paper. Just be gentle and do it a couple times until you are happy. If you are not sure, you can pick up your paper and see, is it like good enough for you? It's hard to tell, I know, so that's why I ink mine. So you can see like, is it good enough? Is, if not, then just continue doing so. If it is good enough, then you can just move on. One thing that I forget to mention, this thing, this embossing with stylus is better done with the cardstock paper. I tried using a copy paper, thickness, thick, uh, copy paper, and it worked, but if I use a little bit force, then my paper will tear. Like this part here, actually, it's kind of tear. It will tear if I use a little tiny bit, bit more force, because yeah, it's just the paper's too thin. And even here, it's, it's hard to, sh to show, but let me just ink it. I'm not the greatest one at this, so I'll just tap tap it. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell, I, I use a tiny bit more force on this section and this section. So yeah, just be careful with your force because you don't want to tear your paper. But this is very fun to do. I'm just 
use this one to show you how different it looks with if you use a bigger stylus and smaller stylus because you of course if you use a bigger stylus head then you will have a wider emboss look i do not know how to call it but i hope you got my what i am trying to say so again i will just tap my ink so you can see it's not really show well but so here so the one with the bigger stylus head is kind of a little bit wider emboss and the one with the tiny smaller one has a narrower emboss look and here you can see clearly where I use too much force that's kind of not tiny tidy looking and in the other side as well you can see this part i use a little bit too much force but anyway so this is one idea that one way that you can use stylus to emboss just pepper and ruler and just uh, emboss and like for this one after i emboss a bunch of straight lines i just drag my ink on the other so this is the one that emboss part is one like the deboss part i think that's how it's called and i just run my ink ink pad across it couple different ink pad and i also use a little bit of the black one and i call it like it's kind of fox wood if you agree with me if you don't it's fine because that is to the beholder so this is how I made this one. And for this one, the diamond with the floral design, it is a little bit more tricky. You will need your pencil to draw the design you want on the paper. So this is the design I drew. I drew a diamond shape and I just scribble like a rose design. And then I just use my stylus to emboss the shape. So I have one here that I already prepared. I threw a diamond and then a flower. And this is what I did. So this will be like a quick video because I don't have much time to record. And I don't want to bore you with like a long video. So like so. And this is easy, I just like score where I drew and then go the other side as well. Not the other side, the other line. So here I just drew from, I just score from here to the other line. And that's it. And I already have, this shape is coming along. And for the flower, of course, I'm not using my ruler. Instead, I would just use my stylus and slowly trace the shape, the drawing just a section by a section and if you are comfortable then you can do them at, in one go of course and as usual don't use too much force just be gentle and just run it over and over until you are happy with the depth of the embossing here you can see like the flower shape started to come along and I will speed up and finish this. Okay, I am done, I think. And here you can see the embossing that I just made. This is freestyle embossing with a stylus. And then you can just color it ink it whatever you want with it and that's it ladies or gen and gentlemen that's how you make you emboss with just your stylus very easy and quick and next week i will show you how to emboss with your film to make the parchment craft in an easy way thank you for watching happy crafting bye